to us Without my bridge and make a light side and guess it's all Numbers changes, friends changes, family changes, love changes, nature changes, seasons changes, weather changes, climate changes, politics changes, nations changes, peace changes, war changes, you changes, I changes, life changes, things changes. Thank you. <laughs> And that was Things Changes, a poem by Tyler Jendrazik, in honor of Seich and his unparalleled wisdom. Mm. It's yeah. been a while since we opened the show with a poem. It's been a while. It's true. And we used to do it like uh, every episode. I mean, now we don't have any poems. Yeah. That's a- true. After we, the poem section has- was cut. Yeah. <laughs> For good reason. <laughs> <laughs> it went the way of uh, Sticker of the Week. Sticker of the Week. <laughs> I wasn't there for that. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> That's part of what made it great. Cool. <laughs> you can still see it when you go to Nikolai's house. Yeah, I, I see it every the time. Remnants. Every time he sleeps over here, he sees it. <laughs> the stickers. Mm. He's like, boy, that, that table has not enough stickers or too many depending on how you look at it yeah i'd say well, not enough full cup half cup yeah because it's it's reached the point where it's got so many where you're like why didn't you just keep filling it up you know what i mean yeah <laughs> well it's filled up enough so i guess i don't know <laughs> <laughs> one week we'll just have a sticker bonanza oh we'll man just make a video of us the sticker episode sticker yeah. blues <laughs> in 2020 all just visual <laughs> that that's that's what 2020 needs, is a sticker-based episode of ROF. Right. Sticker-palooza, oh, everybody. It's coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ugh, you didn't coming. ask for it, so, uh, but we're going to deliver it. Uh, Matthew is uh, delivering the uh, the torch for the elections, mm-hmm. so that's where he is today. That's true. Yeah. I, you know what? I, 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 am, I kind of forgot that that's what he was doing. I just yeah, realized run, that this chair was empty. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty uh, impressive. I mean. It is. Because he doesn't have the physique of a runner, but the guy, the kid can go. He's, He's like got the, the spirit of, of one, though. Yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he's just been mainlining cheeseburgers, and he, and he just keeps going. That's, that's his uh, D batteries. His yes. cheeseburgers. He could probably get a yeah. advertisement uh, spinoff with that. Just keeps going. Energizer. Energizer burger. Yeah. Ooh, the Energizer Mattery. Mm. <laughs> Mattery. <laughs> I could just see it now. It'd be like uh, Hussein Bolt because that's the only runner I know the name of. Yeah, and uh, and true. it's just he's going, and it's like a tortoise and a hare sort of situation with him and Matt. And then, of course, by the end of the race, Matt wins because he, he's right. the tortoise. Yeah, it's those matteries. They're cheating. Mm-hmm. The damn matteries. It it <laughs> sounds very close to uh, mammaries. But it's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. It's not. I want to be very clear that it's not. <laughs> no, no mammaries. No, none no, here. Definitely not. <laughs> I mean, there's some male ones here, but we got a set. We're down a set this week. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, very well done. That uh, comment or that poem, I should say, was a real piece of artwork, and uh, it, it made my uh, week better reading it, <laughs> and it genuinely made me laugh. I loved it. So he knows <laughs> ahead like- of time. I like the part where he said climate changes, and I was going to go, ooh, political. It's a hoax. <laughs> well, it did go right after it goes pol- politics, so kind of political. <laughs> that's, that's true. So like he, he kind of knew where he was going with mm. that a little bit. <laughs> the, you changes, I changes, life changes. <laughs> Things I changes. Mean, that's, that's just... If I knew the name of a poet, I would make a comparison right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, James Joyce is the only one I can think of. Was he a poet? I know he was a novelist, but I didn't know if he was a Let's poet. Let's just flip a quarter. I don't know. He's so yeah. he's I, he wrote stuff. Quarters, I know that. He did quarters so. do not reveal information in that way. Well, well if you flip well, them, yeah, Two Face. He he'd argue about that. Well, it wasn't a quarter. What was it a uh, sack <laughs> a dollar? It was like a like a half dollar. I don't know. I think that's the bigger one. A half dollar or a, a, a subway token? Yeah, probably. I don't know. A big one though. Yeah, not fl- a, not yeah, a quarter. Just flipping though, frisbees. Right. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. He loves to froth, bruh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I live to froth. So we're not going to do the movie section right now, but I just have to bring up the fact that I watched the majority of Spider-Man 3 last night. Oh, uh, and like, wait, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man The Tobey Maguire Spider-Man 3. Why was, that, that, um, why was that? Like, I guess it was on. There. Was it on the TVs? There's always something else. It was. Yeah, there is always something else. And I really should have gone with something else. I genuinely forgot because it's like legend to talk about how poor of a movie that is. That movie is a hot plate of garbage. Like it's so yeah. bad. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I maybe saw it all the way through. Maybe twice. Like, I, other times um, I caught like parts, and I was like, "I don't. Why am I watching this?" I only know the dancing. I've seen it. Can I part, tell you? That's all you need to know. Is the so, dancing. That's true. Now, can I tell you that I didn't remember that there was like that he's dancing through a lot of that film. So I like to make oh, fun I, of Joker. Yeah, you hate dancing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you, 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 you're, you're like the cops in Footloose. You hate dancing. <laughs> I mean, listen, I don't always side with the bad guy, but when I watch Footloose, I'm like, you know, John Lig was, uh, John Lithgow makes a lot of sense. <laughs> John Lig was, was, was real always, different when John Lig was real angry. <laughs> you're breaking all these pipes. Yeah. So I keep having to fix them. <laughs> John Leguizamo would have brought a lot of uh, a lot something different to that role had he played it, but uh, especially considering he was probably the same age as, <laughs> as Kevin Bacon, if not younger. Probably, yeah, probably younger. I would think. Uh, I have no idea how old John Leguizamo is. He's looked the same for like thirty years to me. Um, he really has. Yeah, but I, I as a as a, uh, a hater of dance in films, especially comic book films. I did not realize how much Tobey Maguire is dancing in that fucking movie. He probably dances almost as much as Joaquin Phoenix in the Joker movie. And man, is it not good. <laughs> like Joaquin Phoenix dancing is artistic and you know, it adds suspense to the story. Tobey Maguire just makes me feel uncomfortable. Like <laughs> it is stupid little emo haircut. Oh, yeah. Very, goodness. very emo. And then, like, when he's regular Peter, he's not wearing the symbiote suit. It, he's, like, he has the hair pushed to the side. Like, oh, God, it's it's bad. It's genuinely bad. Like, I don't know. I And I love that Mary Jane is a different type of redhead in all three films. Like, in the second one, she's a strawberry blonde. In the first one, she's, like, a fire engine red. Oh. Like, they really did not. They, they were, were like, not whatever. consistent No one's going to pay that. attention to that. Yeah. No, no. There's just some chubby loser who hates dancing. <laughs> <laughs> but it was on, and I turned it on, like, about halfway through. And I got to tell you, I watched for almost an hour. And first of all, it's a long fucking movie. And I did not remember it being that long. But on top of it being a long movie, it is it is not good. The The... Like, just the dialogue alone is horrific. I feel like all those, although they're very, uh, they got a campiness. Well, they're all, uh, what's his name, makes them, right? Or Sam did, Raimi. Did he, did he make all of them or no? All three, yeah. That, that was part of it. The, the third one was a solid fuck you to the studio because he didn't want to make it. To the it. man. <laughs> yeah. And you know what the sad thing is? One of the only things that I was interested in was the, I forget the name of his professor, Oh, the his professor, his one armed professor is in the movie a little bit. And he was like an Easter egg in the second movie, too. And they were really building towards the lizard for like the Mm. fourth part. And then this was so horrific that they were just like, all right, fuck it. Did they is is the third one also the one where they have a bunch of villains or no? Yes. Yeah. Like three. Yeah. It's just too. Yeah. It opens with it opens with Sandman. Right. And then it has Sandman goes uh, into a secret base that's protected by a chain link fence yeah (laughs) particle accelerator just falls in there (laughs) then if you watch the trailer for the movie you'd assume that venom is there the whole time nope that's dead wrong he doesn't become venom until like there's 45 minutes left maybe a half hour at most he has one fight scene as venom uh like and then 
I, I don't know if he would be considered Hobgoblin or Green Goblin. Too. I'm not a big Spider-Man fan, so I don't I don't know the the Rogues Gallery that well. But uh, James Franco as the Green Goblin is the villain technically for portions of the movie. Mm-hmm. But then I don't he's know. not. It's, yeah, and I don't remember if he takes the super soldier serum thing that that um, his dad, the original Green Goblin, took. But I do know that he's super strong because he has a fight scene with to- with Spider Man, and he doesn't die. Like he takes a like a blast to the face and just instantly heals. Like a week later, he's fine. He's just all scarred up. Hmm. I don't know. The movie's bad. Yeah. It's just bad. <laughs> not that anybody was like asking because it's you know yeah, nobody nobody's debating years, it. They're not like oh, oh, thirteen oh, years. Give it a later. shot. It's uh, yes or no. So. But it's what I watched before I went to bed last night, and it's just been on my mind all day. Did you have uh, <laughs> Spider-Man dreams? Any Spider-Man dreams? I, Were you dancing? I did. did you have a nightmare? <laughs> I, <laughs> it's me at a salsa night, and I'm just screaming. <laughs> just screaming at the band. Just screaming at all of the fellow uh, like, patrons. <laughs> the more you scream, the more we dance. You cannot do this! It's forbidden! Oh. <laughs> I start... I break out a Bible and I lose all my hair like John Lifgow or John Leguizamo. Ooh. <laughs> I really thought you were going to say Leguizamo again. Bald Bible, Nikolai. I, almost, I was so close. You're right, John I was so close. Mm, Lifgow. <laughs> Lifgow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I appreciate you guys letting me talk about Spider Man. Yeah, man. Let it out. I just needed to get that. Hey, you know, it sounds like it's been eating you up. Someone, so. Someone's got to talk about it. Yeah. So. Right? <laughs> the world was asking for someone's opinion <laughs> on this hot shit movie. Um. Uh, uh, well, I just I do want to say happy early Halloween for everyone. Definitely, definitely, it's going to be in a couple of days. Halloween's on a Saturday, when it's a full moon, and there's a pandemic going on, so you can't really enjoy it as much as you like. Don't get sneezed on by a werewolf. That's true. That's the worst Mm-mm. thing that Mm-mm. could happen. I think. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's how you catch it. You you don't become a werewolf if it's a sneeze. You become a Yorkie. Yeah. Oh. Is that a dog? <laughs> it is a dog, yeah. It's a, it's a little tiny I'm pretty dog. Sure the, yeah, I'm pretty sure those are like, wait, are those the hot dogs? No, no, no. no that's a, uh, Dachshund. Dachshund. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wiener what dogs. are Yorkies? Your, that's a technical Yorkies term. are like uh, little yeppy dogs, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, but that's yeah. what happens if a werewolf sneezes on you. If you get bitten, you turn into a werewolf. Yeah, if, like, come on, bite but, me. But like. a, yeah, exactly. But a sneeze, that's Yorkie territory. Fuck that. I don't want to be a Yorkie. <laughs> Oh god! Did you just look up? Look yeah, it up. I'm looking at them. It's like they're cute, but I don't want to be held in someone's purse. They're cute in a picture. Well, then they start. Let's not say that. Then they open their mouth. <laughs> it all depends on the purse, right? Yeah. Yeah. If That's it's true. like, uh, ooh, all right. If you, uh, if you had a purse, what would it like? Or uh, like, you could have like a, a Pokemon purse and it's a big Pokeball, and you put your dog in there. That's cool. Uh, I'd have. A, not, I, I don't. I don't want to carry a purse around though. Well, like you, uh, yeah. you gotta get to work and bring. I mean, it's bring your dog to work day. You I'll, get a hundred extra dollars. You bring I'll, your dog. I'll walk. The, I don't have a dog, or I'll just walk it there. <laughs> I'll walk the dog there. Why would I? No, a dog. Uh, walk. its legs are all styrofoam together, and it gets Jeez. out. Oh well, then it's not coming to work with me. <laughs> it's gonna be a hassle all day. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't move. It can't move. Yeah, I don't. Know, Styrofoam dog, chilling. Get out of here. I'll put it in my backpack. Uh, All right. I would want one. Of the, I would want a a, a a handbag that's made to look like an old timey lunchbox. Ooh. You know what I mean? Like one of those lunch boxes that they yeah the like metal construction ones. workers yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah exactly. Oh But it's yes. not metal. It's like leather or something. Hell yeah. Yeah, I feel like that'd be cool looking. That'd be pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah, man, um, besides that, I really don't think that we're the ideal three people to talk about handbag designs. Hey, I man. I don't know. Let's not it's get possible. crazy. It's I'll, possible. I'll, uh, happy Halloween. I'll carry around a handbag, put some candy in there. <laughs> <laughs> I know that those really small ones are called clutches. You know, the ones that just fit your phone and eight tampons. and. Man, a clutch. What, what a weird name. Yeah, yeah. Um, Remember to hold that's on really to that's about it. it. All right. Well, I don't know much else about bags. Well, we got a year figured out. Wait, what? 
You know, I've never actually bought, like, an X a bag. I would never even consider no, doing that. No, I just wouldn't trust you gotta buy judgment. it for yourself. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> no, Nikolai is like almost at the yeah. uh, fanny pack stage. Ooh. How dare you? I'm waiting. I'm just waiting. My, just... Just because my father to this day uses a fanny pack does not mean I am going to. It's use in a your fanny blood. Pack. You are you are gonna be a fanny pack man. <laughs> <laughs> fanny pack man. Fanny pack man. That would be my superhero, but no one likes him. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. You'd have like a bunch of them, like Batman, but he'd have some lame name like Michael. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's Michael, the fanny pack man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, I, I guys, not, don't make such a fuss. <laughs> it's just me with my extra storage. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. I mean, does anybody need uh, me to pay for this? Because I've got my wallet and my uh, fanny pack. Oh, uh, here's some trail mix if you were hungry. Mm. <laughs> it's, the, it's the real lame kind without the M&Ms in yeah. it. Yeah. Ooh, the good kind. <laughs> it's, a real, it's a real nutty trail mm. mix. Yeah. I'll take some. <laughs> What was that old uh, documentary now bit? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just kept pulling out trail mix. We didn't know where he was getting it from. <laughs> I forgot how good that show was. You know, it's still like they've done. The, I think they've done like three seasons. I've I, only ever seen season one. I watched uh, the first uh, two. I didn't see any season three. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, you see, you've seen more than me then, but uh, yeah, that show is excellent. If you don't know what we're talking about, it's um, Bill know. Hader and um, Fred Armisen, and I think that I think one of the um, I think Seth Meyers executive. Yeah, like a, I think he's an executive producer. I don't know if he's in the show. Is that on the flicks? But um, no, I, I hope so. Is that on the Zon? Actually, you know, I think it might be on Netflix. Yeah, Netflix or Hulu. On but the uh, they. Uh, they they make mockumentaries that are based off of famous documentaries. Motherfuckers. And it's it's hilarious. It's, it's real so good. funny. Nice. Some of them are aren't that good. Okay. Yeah, they're not all home runs, but I, one of the one of my favorite was the Fred Armisen one where he's in Alaska. Yeah. He, he's like a frontiersman. I I don't even remember any of like the specific parts. I just remember every time they cut to Bill Hader. Because he plays like the survivor, it, he just he would kill it with as an old man with just like <laughs> some great one liner. Like I wish I had an example, but I don't. So that story sucks. Find out yourself, everyone. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do the work yourself. <laughs> Find out it. yourself. Stop listening to us talk about it. Yeah, you guys are bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. Please don't go anywhere. <laughs> You're totally not bullshit. You're wonderful. <laughs> um, do you guys want to listen to Tommy Gunn sing? Do some Ooh. comments? Eh, eh, I don't know. Okay. I give or take. All right. Fuck it. We won't do it. <laughs> the videos on YouTube have a place called the comment section where people can type out Heartfelt and thoughtful reflections of the videos they just watched. Like here at our love on Wednesdays, now the gang will read a few. It's really hard to rhyme the word Wednesdays. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love that. Wow. I was so excited. Wow, <laughs> Tommy, he did a great job. He always does a great job. Well, he, yes, but he, he does a apparently job. Apparently, he was yeah. extra great. He was extra great in Al's opinion. This he's got time. responsibilities, so he's I appreciate it. I've never once heard what this song sounds like. It's time <laughs> for comments. That's not it. I don't, he did I, not do I, it. I, this. I <laughs> could. It could have been. I would have had no idea. <laughs> He does not do it in the style of a 2000s emo punk band. Like, <laughs> I'm going to play it when you wake up tonight. Oh, man. You mean you should wake that you're up going to sleep? This and morning, in this morning, work. yeah. So. Yeah. It's going to be great. I like that you guys are on different, like, complete opposite schedules. I have been getting a little bit better since uh, two weeks ago, but. That's good. Just got to keep it up. 
Yeah. I uh, I was telling somebody about how sometimes I used to wake up to go to work, and Al would be in his room, door open, light on, computer, sitting Kick on the computer. Andrew would be in the living room playing video games. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like they're, they're both still finishing their night, <laughs> and I'm waking up to go to work. Yeah. I'm like, it's technically still yesterday for them. Yeah. Yeah. You're, uh, we're, yes. you're a time traveler, or yeah. we're the time travelers. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, you'd be. I mean, I would. Andrew would wake up, but I'd be asleep when you got home. Yeah. So. Now, question for you: Is it difficult to sleep during the day? Because you're in a pretty populated area. It's got to be loud. I don't really. Wait, me or Sight? Who are you asking? No, the person who stays up all night. You. Oh no, no, because I'm used to it. Plus, like. It's just trains, and we get used to the trains. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, like I was, yeah, I'm a, I'm a. Go ahead. No, oh, no, I'm saying like I, I do <laughs> barely even like sometimes the uh, the sirens are like noticeable, but that's because okay. I don't know. Yeah. I, saw, I I don't think I've ever woken up from oh, our front door up. getting closed, but <laughs> that's probably the loudest thing, I guess. But you never wake up from that. Yeah. No. So yeah. Yeah, no. that front door is pretty loud. Yeah, you got to well you got to slam it. It doesn't close, huh? I don't I don't slam it in the morning. Yeah, well I never it's, slam it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're the only one that does. <laughs> that's for, that's for real. The only person that slams it. <laughs> oh man. Um so our first comment this week comes from Conspiracy. Hey guys, oh, you're yeah. going to do that Halloween adventure I sent you? Oh. <laughs> Thanks, <I just. laughs> Um, short answer, no, unfortunately. Uh, love you. <laughs> that's we it. love that's you. Sorry, I laughed. <laughs> no, <laughs> no uh, we're going to do that the next time we're all able to actually be together in the same room. Um, Fucking Matt. It's just, yeah, it's yeah, not the same well, without Matt here. With his torch carrying. That's true. Yeah. Um, he, he's a busy man. But also, like, even more so, I'd like you guys to be here if possible. Because it's better when it's all four of us in the same room. It's true. We we'll can have do a, it. Uh, a Thanksgiving <laughs> Halloween episode or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knowing us, that'd be right on schedule too. Um, also, um, I do have to check with our email service cause b- both my website and my email are down and I definitely oh. I'm pretty sure I paid for it this year. So <laughs> don't even know. <laughs> I might've, well, I really, I really enjoy all of the uh, the adverbs there. I definitely might have pretty sure paid for it. <laughs> like, you devolved so much in that sentence. <laughs> uh, probably didn't, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Who the hell knows? So yeah, um, all your emails are in limbo at the moment, but uh, yeah. Hey, we still we do. Hopefully, out. Uh, it's downloaded, hopefully maybe. Though. Preferably, possibly, almost, Al figures it out. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I'll shuffle some yeah. things around. If not... <laughs> Move some monies whatever. around? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, Conspiracy, uh, watch out for that Thanksgiving, October-themed adventure. <laughs> it's going to be great. Uh, conspiracy actually continues. Uh, we miss you, Goofs. Also, the killer in the second scream wasn't their college friend the main killer was billy loomis's mother yeah it was the uh, the, uh the smiley chick, face the, the chick from roseanne the, oh the short hair lady chick from roseanne i think i say roseanne uh, bar yeah you know roseanne bar <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm pretty i'm pretty sure that i'm pretty sure that two played his mom jackie no the short hair lady like the the friend Roseanne. I friend. have never oh, watched okay. an episode. I of watched so I to, much I Roseanne. Used to, oh, man, in I used to watch that shit all the time. I really? Cable, that's why. great show. That makes sense. She had to go fuck it up, being a racist. She did. Great job, Roseanne. You're racist. Did. I don't even remember what she was racist about. That she was such, like, called a, someone a monkey. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Wow. No, you can't do that. No. It's, unless uh, they actually are a monkey. Yeah. Unless you're in Planet of the Apes. Cause then, yeah. Because then it's accurate. It, well, depends on if it's an ape or not. Because if That's it's true. an ape and you call him a monkey, you might get pretty pissed off. That's true. You or might she. Rip, rip your arms off. Yeah. Yeah, who That's knows? the worst part of it. 
Uh, Conspiracy concludes her comment with, uh, all of the Scream movies are fantastic. Fight me. Mm. Wow. Uh, okay. To be fair, I do. Oh, shit. Sp- sorry. Speaking of fucking Scream movies, they're making a fifth uh-huh. one. Really? Wow. I saw okay. something. Nobody asked for that. I thought it was a joke. I'm like, oh, this is, they're not making this. Damn. And then there's like, like they're actually doing it. Is uh, the main lady coming back or we don't know? Yeah. Nev it's Campbell? Nev Campbell, David Arquette, and Courtney Cox. Damn. Are all going to oh, be shit. They're also. And I think the, uh, the blonde deputy chick from the fourth one. Okay. Okay. Sad. I never saw the fourth one or no, the third. I, or, uh, you didn't see it? Uh, did you see it in theaters? Because I don't remember doing that. I think we might have. I, I didn't see it. I watched it a bunch of times. Hmm. So they're doing... Sc- I feel like I remember you talking about it. Main, I see, mainly because uh, Hayden Panettiere's in it. And Yep. Let me tell I you. definitely remember you talking about it. I did you. not see that. <laughs> so they're doing yeah. Scream 5. I you- Hot dog. <laughs> I remember you telling me how much I need to see it, and I would be like, yeah, it's not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> you guys got to stop doing that Dude, to each other. Forum. Just say you shouldn't see this movie. That's true. Oh, That's man, true. this movie sucks. Oh, I'll oh, check wow. it out. I got to see how bad it is. <laughs> well, to be fair, that didn't help with Hubie Halloween. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. That, no. <laughs> Uh, it's a hot plate of garbage, but I always you're not going to see it still. I sign into Netflix, and like I always, it's always there. Like, oh, trending now, and I'm like, nah, mocking I'm you. Skip, <laughs> get, get out of here. They're also doing um, Matrix Four and another Jurassic Park with the original people. I heard about the Matrix. I did not hear about the Jurassic Park. Yeah. Is it going to be like a mix, like? Matrix Jurassic Park? No, like, like, like the Jurassic Park. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Oh my god, I would love that. Neo fighting T Rexes, just fucking yeah, punching he's them. Just... <laughs> he re- he's running away from the T Rex and Bryce Dallas Howard's uh, heels and oh, hops yes. into the old Jeep. Banning, book a banning, book a banning. No. Do you think what do you have any more information on the Jurassic Park? Is it going to take place after Jurassic the Jurassic? World I don't know films? any plot details. Yeah, like, I didn't know if it was going to have like okay. Chris Pratt and no Brad idea Dallas Howard and Sam Neill. Do not know because because yeah, I don't because I'm pretty sure at the end of that second Jurassic World, which was just a bad movie. It wasn't yeah. Spider Man three bad, but it wasn't good. I didn't see it. Um, I was. was they could have titled it Jurassic World Money Grab. Oh, you mean the most okay. recent recent like, one? Was it Evolution or Evolution? Something like Transformers. that. Yep. Jurassic World, Transformers. Yep. Jurassic World, Transformers. Transformers, Dark of the Moon, mm. Emptying of the Wallet. Ugh, those Transformers movies. I'm so glad that ended. Um, I think we found a Transformer. Oh, oh, anyway. I didn't see the Marky Mark one. It? Or the John Cena one. John Cena. Which Bumble. one? There's Bumble? a John Cena one? Yeah, he was in uh, Bumblebee. He was inside of him? Oh, yeah. you mean the I Bumblebee? Saw Bumblebee. <laughs> he was Bumblebee. <laughs> Bumblebee was like, I'm gonna crush this <laughs> man. And nobody they they went see. straight up uh, '80s uh, Hulk, and they just painted Cena yellow. Oh my god! <laughs> but nobody could see. They him. had to make, they had to make car sounds. I would watch that. <laughs> and Amanda, whatever her name is, the lead just would ride his back, piggyback style, Damn every time right. they drove somewhere. Oh, um, yeah. No, I liked Bumblebee. The whole family went and saw that for like nice. Christmas one year, I think. Really? I, I I enjoyed it. The last one I saw was three. Yeah. I remember. I, I'm pretty sure that's the one that had uh, Leonard Nimoy was one of the voices of one of the uh, the prime old Decepticons or ah. something. Yeah, right. It, it was bad. Yeah. Every single one of those movies is there's a new magical MacGuffin. We gotta go find it. It's always a box. And then a lot of robot it's always boxes. a box, or a shard, or a, uh, a shark, um, <laughs> or something. Like Optimus Prime's great grandfather sharded in some underwear, and then we hit it on the moon. Damn! So we gotta go find that. We gotta get it because the, the shard of the moon. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Here we go. Transformers 8, Shard of the Moon. <laughs> <laughs> a film no one asked for, and we don't know why it's been made. <laughs> So uh, our next comment, because uh, I just remembered that's what we're still doing, is <laughs> ra- <laughs> from Rabbit Bunny Man. I was going through RLF withdrawal for two whole weeks. Now my favorite jerk material is back, <laughs> and I feel much better. Oh wow! Thanks, guys. But seriously, we're glad you're all okay, especially Matt. Well, Matt's better than okay. He's running with a torch. Yeah. Right? So he yeah. recovered yeah. He's a be- lot he's better than all of us. Damn. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's doing excellent. Um, this seemed to be a theme. Apparently we were very much, we were missed for a couple of weeks. And that, you know, oh, it kind of feels good. I'm sorry that, uh, you know, you, you had to do without. Our final comment that I have for this week is from uh, Da Trinidad Experience. I missed you guys for three weeks. Goofy face. It's odd not having you guys playing in my background after work. It caused... It caused for three weeks of quiet showers, oh. long dramatic pauses, and unanswered questions. I am happy to see you're all well otherwise, and glad no one died. You guys are the best. Much love. Oh boy. Uh, Chima- Chimakachu? 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 Chimakachu. Okay, Chimakachu. You. Thank you. Hey, Chimakachu. By the way, um, I don't know how I feel about the fact that we're joining you in the shower. I'm, I, I play podcasts in the shower. I, uh, I mean, I listen do to you? Music. I can't I hear do too, them. Actually, but. I listen to music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I usually do music in the shower because you can't hear like the details of the conversation no. all the time. Yeah, and Never. I can't. I can't sing along with a podcast. You get sh- That's a good point. No, you're right. <laughs> you just keep replaying the um, the opening theme song <laughs> of whatever the podcast. All right, laugh. I, I wouldn't listen to RLF. Come on. Oh yeah, I'm that tra- me. Wow, wow. <laughs> well, no. You're good. <laughs> you're good enough to be in this trash heap, but you're not mm-hmm. good enough to listen to it. You son of a bitch. Yeah. Get out of the trash heap. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, you know what? Now that you say that, I have listened to podcasts in the shower, but I do usually. I'll, you know what I listen to a lot? Um, stand-up comedy. I'll, I'll throw mm. on um, Pandora, listen to stand-up. I like doing that. It's it's weird when you, uh, like... Because you don't always laugh. Sometimes I just enjoy listening to the commentary. Right. But it is sometimes, like, you're doing your morning routine, brushing your teeth, and then, I don't know, Camille Nanjiani slaps you with a good zinger, and you just spit out your uh, toothpaste a little bit. <laughs> All over the mirror. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> late for work. Why are you late? Oh, Camille. Camille making me spit oh, everywhere. Camille Nanciani. That's that old so and so telling tales from Pakistan. <laughs> uh, I would have said Louis C.K., but you're not allowed to like him anymore. It's true. Well, he's got his dick everywhere. That's true. That's true. If well, you say his five, name. Three times. Yeah. yeah, don't look at the, you, you look <laughs> in the mirror shows and say up his masturbating. Name. <laughs> yeah, it's real bad. He just says look at it. Look like, at it. It's like Bloody Mary, but way more terrifying. Yeah. Do you have yeah. to have your yeah. dong out? Probably not. <laughs> no. I hope not. I think that's part of it that you don't have your dong <laughs> yeah. out. I think <laughs> yeah, you, that's right. <laughs> like if you did, then it's just a party and he's like, No, you can't be willing. I'm yeah. turned off. <laughs> <laughs> messed up, Louie. <laughs> Did you have any comments? Uh, I got Albert? nothing for you. Sycha has a few. Nice. Oh, I yeah, I've been scrolling through them. <laughs> got a bunch. No of nice. shit. So, oh, my phone. Damn. Uh, his phone just fell. <laughs> so thank you so much, everybody who commented this week. We always appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, everyone. Um, yeah, dude. And uh, sorry, Matt's gone. Now it's time. Yeah, sorry, Matt's gone. But he'll be back. Hopefully in the near future. Not or if I have anything to do not. with it. <laughs> oh boy, you gonna trip him while he's holding that torch? He's gonna set himself on fire? No, nah, he's gonna be done That's before he can get out there. Damn, that makes sense. That speed. That makes sense. <laughs> Super. Um, gentlemen, have you watched any movies this week? Oh, uh, dude, did I? Satchy boy, watch movies. I uh, 
I'll I'll get to my technical movie. But, oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. What you have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I have seven. Damn. And one of them wow. is not technically a horror movie. The rest are. Okay. Well, yeah, you've been going hard Halloween. Excuse me. I feel like that should be like. An Urban Dictionary thing, Hard Halloween. Hard Halloween. Yeah. You only watch <laughs> yeah, I'm Halloween. Going, I'm going hard related. Halloween right now. Whoa, dude! All's closed. Up in the hospital? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I, see, that's funny. I watched. Uh, I've got four things on my list, and only one of them is a horror movie. Oh, okay. word! I'm gonna start with the one that's not a horror mm. movie. Uh, Good. Waiting. Oh, love, love waiting. Right, I like, absolutely love that movie. It's how well, how well has it aged? Well, all right, uh, bias way to ask that question. Yeah, that that I'm not. I don't know. Could it came out? <laughs> I think what 2005 it came out. They drop a uh, yeah 2005. They drop some bad words. I th- there's a lot of hard R's. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like I'm like whatever, but. By today's standards, it's I gotcha. probably not too great. Sneezing on people. That's right. A lot of sneezing. Can't do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's yeah. worse than racial slurs. Yeah. 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 You can't sneeze on people anymore. Nah. nah, nah. Uh, all right. All right. Now let's get into this shit. Um, Anaconda. Wait. Ooh. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. I, I want to talk about Anaconda. because. Oh, um, but first, let's go back to waiting. What's one of your favorite scenes from waiting? Oh God, um, I don't know. I like, I, I like, cause for me, almost any time Ryan for Reynolds. Me, oh, he's such a great character. Like he, he is so fucking funny in that. What is he? Monty is yeah. his name. He's so fucking funny. I think Anna Faris is really funny in that movie. But for me, I felt like it ended so strong when they had that kid just rip everybody yeah. apart. And Mitch goat him. Yeah. Like, oh man, that's right. And then he drops a hard F. Boy, you can't you can't that, do a lot of the stuff that, they did in that movie. At, yeah, that was the point of the game to to like get people to see your your junk. And then, and you, then have, call them that. you have to call him a hard F. You have ah. to. Yeah. That's kinda of, yeah, you can't do that anymore. I mean you could, it's just the whole the whole wait staff would be have would have to be like gay men. Yeah. Because they're allowed to say it still. Yeah, exactly. Which, you know, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let, let, let him have it. Or like, or if you really want, it could be like special needs gay men. Then you could say whatever you want to say. That's, that's true. <laughs> you can get away with anything. Some very weirdly specific restaurants, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I, hey, if the food's good, I don't care. That's no, funny. I just realized, like, man, I love that end bit so much. And then I was like, boy, you couldn't do that. You know who else was um, real funny in that? Uh, Louis, Louis Guzman. Louis Guzman. So, yes! So yes. funny. So funny in that movie. He is hilarious in that movie. And the fact that, like, the idea of him being with that smoking hot uh, waitress, you're like, not a chance in hell. You know what You know what, You know know what? what got me real good? Um, when he was talking about... Uh, like the different places, like, oh yeah, was, oh we went, I took you out, we went to the movies, and she's like, you kept trying to get me to jerk you off, and then, yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, uh, some like, couple minutes later, like, uh, and then uh, at my uncle's funeral, and she's like, yeah, but you kept trying to get me to jerk you off, <laughs> and they always like, they, <laughs> and they, they they would always cut to like the movies and then the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, that shit is so funny. It cracked me up. I remember Andy Melanakis's character is funny, but not great. Yeah, um, he probably didn't age super well. He's just your typical like idiot white kid. Yeah, he he was um, all right. How about you, Al? Have you ever seen Waiting? I think I saw it in the theaters with you guys, but I don't remember. What was that Dane Cook's first movie? Basically, yeah. No, wait, it wasn't wait, his wait. first movie. Wait, wait. But it was it was his first movie after he broke big. Wait, so Dan Cook and the oh no, other yeah, because he was in uh, Mystery like... Men, The Waffler. <laughs> Dan <laughs> Cook was in. He's got a. Yeah, he's got a cameo in Mystery Men, but he was also in another movie before all of that. I think with like Dennis Rodman or something. I know oh, there's really? two people yeah. in waiting that both look like Dan Cook. 
Dane Cook. Did, did well, one of them Ryan, Dane Cook? you probably yes. think and you Ryan probably Reynolds. think that yeah. Ryan Reynolds yeah. looks like Dane Cook. They yeah. both look the same. Are you saying is but, Dane Cook in the movie? Yeah, or he, you, okay. he was one of the cooks. yes. <laughs> okay, Dane Cook is a cook in the film. <laughs> oh. That movie had a lot of like comedians and also like comedic actors. Yeah, Roseanne Barr. No. <laughs> yes, she's excellent. <laughs> Dave Keckner is the manager. So fucking funny. Oh, yeah. He's real good. Yeah. All right. So you watched Anaconda, which is Dude. arguably one of the best, worst movies Dude, of all time. If, are, the all-star cast in that movie. Are you kidding me? John John Voight, Jennifer Lopez, Ice Cube, oh. other white guys. Oh, uh, <laughs> Owen Wilson. That's right. Owen Wilson. Uh, and then the dude from... Uh, he was the dad in Jumanji. Oh, I don't know his name. Oh, but I okay. Know. I, yeah, I don't know the guy's name, but like he's been in a bunch of shit. Yeah. The, the yep. Brad Is he guy. the one who gets the tracheotomy? No, he. That was just some other white guy. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I remember that tracheotomy scene. Right. Fucking me up when I was a little kid and I first saw it. I remember my dad rented it from Blockbuster, and first of all. The CGI did not hold up in that movie. So bad. <laughs> it is terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> it's it's absolutely awful. It makes their acting almost justified because of how bad the CGI yeah. is. <laughs> Cuz you're like, "Well, I get it. They're clearly not looking at anything. Like no wonder it's such dog shit." <laughs> oh, and then uh in the opening, the opening scene, one Danny Trejo Ah, really? Does he get he, he gets well. He now he's stranded on a boat, and then he's like, like the like he's the only one left on the boat. I think like the anaconda's uh, Coming, you don't you don't see it yet. Could it, yeah, you don't see it yet. Could it? Yeah, you got it. And then he like climbs up to the top, and then just shoots himself. Oh, and that's it. That's all he's in the movie. Damn, what a career he's had. Hmm. Yeah, he's been so much it's true in everything basically. He really uh, machete. The only the only disappointing part of the film was that they didn't have Ice Cube say my anaconda don't want none. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they miss they missed their opportunity. I don't know. They really did. I don't know how. Copyright. <laughs> Copyright. That's how much why. how much extra do you think Ice Cube would have demanded back then? Probably millions. To say that dog shit line. A few mil <laughs> yeah. at least. Now, if memory serves, he lives as well as Jennifer Lopez and the tracheotomy guy. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he lives. Okay. Yeah. I feel like that was unexpected, but good. Unexpected because it's but a horror movie. And he's black. Yes, exactly. And, and he's the token. Yeah. Yeah, it's a horror movie. Yeah, but exactly. all in all, uh, definitely, definitely check it out if you have not seen that movie. <laughs> now that we told you who survives. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. We just gave everything away. But fuck yeah. it. It came out in like 90 something. Well, well, any movie well, we John discuss. Voigt's, John Boyd's yeah, actually he's good. Like, he's good in that. He is an excellent villain, but his death scene is very rem- like very memorable. memorable. Yeah. Mem- oh. Whatever. Oh, yeah. That word. You don't forget it. No. Yeah, no. Oh, no. It's, it's <laughs> definitely something. Uh, what else right. did you watch? Uh, I watched the new Evil Dead. Okay. Oh, with Joan, uh, Jonah or Jane, uh, Jane Clava, whatever her name is. I, yeah, I have no idea what her name is, but like the the female, uh, she's on uh, some other show, um, Zoe's Incredible Playlist or something like uh, that. Hmm. Someone, someone told me she was on Shameless. That's where she knew her from. I was like, I'd been watching oh. that show, so I have no idea. Some random person. She's not some random person. <laughs> okay, um, I thought. But uh, uh, I I never watched Shameless, so I don't know. Either. Yeah, I've never watched it either. But it, I, I didn't love that movie. Love, I I gotta rewatch it because I've only seen it the once, and it wasn't. I didn't think it was the best because uh, I love the Evil Dead franchise so much. I think I'm the only person who watched all of Ash vs Evil Dead. I absolutely loved that show i love the three movies yeah i like the i even movies, like the first one the show i watch most how many seasons the show have three uh, i think i watched 
two seasons. No spoilers, Nikolai. Right, or I watched like one, definitely the first season, and at least half of the second. I don't know if I finished it. <laughs> yeah, but I do it's love those excellent. movies. I just like the new, yeah. like the remake. It's it's so like an actual so, scary movie. Like it's so fucked up. Like the, it's just yeah. oh, it's it's good. See, after watching what is it, Cabin in the Woods, that one with um, Thor. Yeah. And you find out it's not a traditional horror movie. Funny, uh, a lot. <laughs> funny you should mention that. Uh-oh. Oh yeah? <laughs> that, yeah, that's another one I watched. <laughs> <laughs> but after watching Cabin in the Woods, so much of the beginning of Cabin in the Woods reminds me of the remake of Evil Dead. Hmm. Yeah. And I know that that was done on purpose. Yeah, Cabin in like, the Woods the- was purposefully a stereotypical horror movie and then it has an amazing twist to it but i guess they captured and it just so well that any other that movie that when they did actually remake evil dead i was like oh i saw this last year when it was cabin of the woods right. like i don't know i don't know it, it i gotta give it another try give it up and see i i don't go into it trying to compare it to the old ones because, like, those are... Just so different, I, yeah. Those are... I hold a special place in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I watched Cabin in the Woods, so we don't have to talk about that one. Great movie. I mean, if if you haven't seen Cabin in the Woods, it's probably one of the most original horror movies I've ever seen. It is... I, it's... The twist in that movie, and I'm, I'm not going to give it away, just because if twist? you haven't seen it... <laughs> would a twist like i just thought it was excellent it yeah. was so different it was so funny and good but also at certain points genuinely kind of horrifying and yeah. you're like what the fuck is gonna happen next it's it's real good check it you out definitely check it out yeah um i watched this other one um we summon <laughs> the darkness like, did you enjoy it? Never heard of it. It well, it uh, I think it came out like either this year or last year. It's on Netflix. It's got <clears throat> fuck. What the what the hell's her name? Alexandra Daddario or whatever. Oh yeah, she's very beautiful. Yeah, it's got her. Uh, two other girls. I like the blonde girl that did it looks real familiar, but I don't mm-hmm. know where I would have seen her from. And then Knoxville's okay. in it. Oh. Oh shit! Okay. Uh he's only in it for a little bit, but yeah, like the movie, it's about. I don't want to like. I Can hate, you like, not spoil it? But yeah, I, I hate like talking about movies because I feel like I'm just gonna spoil it. But yeah. what is it? Uh, like zombies or no, vampires? No, 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 <laughs> no it's nothing like that. It's like uh, Knoxville runs. He's like a pastor. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And he runs like this thing for um like women who it's like this group, this women's group for like I don't know, self fucking, defense or No, nah, not self defense. Like it's abuse. like a not a it's like kind of like a congregation but they're not nuns. Oh, okay. Like they like he's like save like saving these women, okay. kind of. But what, what he says, um, do you find out it's like a cult? Is it? Uh, yeah, kind of. Hmm. Kind okay. of, yeah. Like they. Like, <laughs> okay. I, I, well, like, it's, like, it's it's so you've hard. Intrigued to, us. It's enough. so hard to talk about it without giving stuff away. Okay. Well, that's. I mean, that's okay. pretty. It's. I mean, intriguing. it was it was an all right movie. Okay. Yeah. Any twists or just the initial? Uh, like j- pretty much just like the initial. Johnny Knoxville is, like making these ladies do stunts. Yeah, like once. You- I wonder. I wonder if that's the twist. Is that it's Johnny Knoxville in a movie? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, like an he's actually acting. He's not wearing yeah. uh, aviators and chucks. Yeah, he's not an old man. Or, or an old man suit. <laughs> yeah. yeah not, well, he, one one party, he, oh. he doesn't have a suit, like an old man suit. Nice. That's because he's like an older man. Okay. Gotcha. D- dude's in okay. like his um, almost 50s. Was I that think. your... Like, he's still. old. 
Have you seen him on Instagram now? He's got like almost a full head of gray hair. Yeah, it's it's crazy how old he is now. Damn. Yeah. <clears throat> Damn um, you time. Uh, and I got two more, real quick. Okay. Uh, it and then it chapter two. Nice. It one is so much better in my opinion than it chapter See, two. See, I over the weekend I we wanted to watch uh, the first one, but mm-hmm. it. Uh, they only had the second one on the HBO Max. Yeah. So we were like, "Fuck it, whatever." We watched that one. It's like it's not bad. Like it's it's not bad. It's, it's just not as good as the first one. No, but it's oh my god, like, a lot of dancing. Three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, three hours, really? Yeah, it's like isn't it, it because of all the flashbacks? Like two two fifty. Yes. I think? Too many long. flashbacks. It is it is long. I remember it being a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Um, I've seen it twice. I liked it a lot better the second time. Yeah. Um, some of the gore, in my opinion, is very good. Um, when that guy is in the basement, I, I don't know the characters' names, but when he's in the basement, the one who's afraid of like sickness and stuff, Eddie, and he's at the uh, Eddie, he's at the um, the pharmacy. Yeah. <clears throat> like that moment when like the the sick thing or person or whatever it is like that is amazing gore like yeah, that like, looked some of the shit in that movie so, is so good. good um uh there's a couple other things that really get you like all of the stuff with james mcavoy is pretty excellent especially him just shaking that kid yeah, like, yeah. in the street yeah but even in even more so house. like when, when he's in the fun house yes yeah, that is and <sighs> And it is pounding its head against the glass, and then finally it breaks through and fucking eats the... You're like, right, like holy shit. That yeah. is probably... I would, In my opinion, the scariest or the best scene of that movie is, is very poorly placed. It should have been the opening of the film. Um, it's the bleacher scene with the young uh, the the little, little girl, girl who's got like the mo- mole on her face. Yeah. That should have been the open of the film because that would have been such a strong open. Hmm. But for some reason, it's randomly placed about an hour into the movie. And it's excellent. It's so good. It It's classic horror. There's suspense. There's literal darkness because you're under the bleachers. But it's got this added element of she's technically surrounded by people and it's this amazing metaphor that even when you're with people you can still be alone and then you've got the whole element of trust and what is it billy Skarsgård who plays it yeah is so perfectly creepy in that moment and then it has the great big shock ending to the scene like that would have been a outstanding cold open such a bold statement to open the movie but for some reason, they just randomly throw it halfway through, and you're like, "Oh, okay." I mean, I didn't hate. Wait, um, what was it? Was it at the the carnival? Was that with, the opening? With the little kid in, in the in the funhouse? No, no, no. The uh, the opening. It was. I, I like just watched it this weekend. I don't remember. It, like the uh, it was the the two the two gay guys, and they go. They're leaving the carnival, and they get beaten up. Yes. By. Like that group of group of kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but then... See, I didn't mind that being the opening. Because it wasn't like... It wasn't like it's... Like, with, with the Bleacher thing, it's like, alright, Pennywise is, is there, you see him right away. This yeah. this is like, alright, everything's starting to happen <clears throat> again. Mm-hmm. And then all those fucking red balloons just come out from under the bridge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. that was kind of a cool scene. Like... All those it is, coming, but and then it just appearing. Yeah, I get it. I hear what you're saying, but I don't know. It just didn't grab me as much as that bleacher scene did. The bleacher scene was good. I just, I don't know. I feel like they couldn't have put him like doing too much because he didn't. He didn't even talk. Like he just grabbed the dude out of the water and then disappeared. That was it. True. <clears throat> Very true. Um, but you gotta remember at the same time, this is the second one. We don't need the jaws effect. We can see the monster. We like, we already know what he looks like. Nah. Like <laughs> you don't, <laughs> well, cause it's, cause it's not like with the bleacher thing, like he's been back for like, not a little while, but like a couple weeks, you assume. Yeah. Like with that, with like the beginning, it's like, all right, he's 
Like this stuff's just have just starting to happen again. Yeah. So it's not like right. I mean, I hey, that's that's a good point, but you're not going to uh, persuade me to feel otherwise. No, no. no. Let me uh, keep going with it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we can both agree that the end forty five minutes. Really could have trimmed some of the fat off of that. The, yeah, and the, then also it's not great. It was just. What does he say when they're fighting? Come on, fuck face. Yep. Come on, fuck face. Like does he say that? That's no, right. I don't think so. Maybe he screams at him. Well, they just start yelling insults at him. Yeah. It's not good. There's other ways to make him smaller. You're a clown. Yeah, he's a clown. <laughs> well, he's a clown. We know. We see him. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Make me laugh? <laughs> Funny man. <laughs> Funny fuck. Um, but it was weird. Like, so I watched that over the weekend, and then like I, I just finished watching the the first one. Yeah, before right before we. Did we... This. Oh really? Yeah, because yeah, I was looking on the HBO thing, and I'm like, oh, they fucking just put this on, really? <laughs> huh? So I was like, that's I'm... so funny. I, I just watched a horror movie before we started recording as well. Ooh. What was it? Because those were the last ones I had. I'll do mine after yours, Nicola. <laughs> yeah, because yours is. No, no, I'll probably forget. <laughs> um, so the so the one and only horror movie I had and the what I w- just watched before we recorded was Jennifer's Body. Hmm. It's um I'm pretty sure it's like 2013 Jennifer's or body, might even be earlier. Forgot all about that movie, dude. I had seen the movie because my ex was a big horror movie buff, and she showed it to me, but I didn't remember most of it. I must have fallen asleep. Big shock, because. <laughs> Holy shit. First of all, it was written by Diablo Cody. And some of the dialogue in this movie is so absurd and hilarious. Like, and Megan Fox as the, uh, I guess, like, the villain or hero. I don't even know. Like, it depends on how you perceive the movie, if she's the villain or not. Hmm. But she she is excellent. Her and Amanda Siegfried or Seyfried or whatever... I think it's earlier than 2013 because it's some of the, uh, like, there's one of the characters is, like, a full-blown, like, emo kid. Like, he's got, like, the, if I'm remembering correctly, like, the snake bite piercings in his lips and, like, the dyed black hair that's a little too much in his face or whatever, but, <laughs> um, yeah, that's it's so that good. That's the dude that goes to the, uh, that abandoned, like, uh, not abandoned house, like, the house that's being built? Yes, right, yes. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, like she, she, so she seduces them cause she's kind of like a succubus, but not, she's like a demon or whatever. And she seduces this dude and like has him, uh, like come over and before like the twist in the scene and she starts to kill him, like she just telling him like how much she looks at him and how much she likes him and they start kissing. And then, you know, he's kind of like thrown off by how forward she's being and she undoes his pants and <laughs> she drops his pants, but he still has his boxers on. And she looks him in the eyes and goes, nice hardware. And starts making out with him again. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, that's so good. I was like, no one's ever said that to me. And well, it's obviously I don't know not how that to nice. feel about that. <laughs> oh, you got a nice printer down there. Nice hardware. <laughs> nice tools. Oh my god! And then later, there's the big fight scene, and at one point, she turns to Amanda Siegfried, and she's like, uh, "Do you have a tampon?" And she's like, "No," and she's like, "Oh, I thought you were, you seemed like you were plugging." Like, I don't even, <laughs> I've never heard that before, but I was laughing Jeez. so hard. <laughs> I could not it, listen, and it's it's gory as fuck. Like it is pretty gory. I don't remember the last um, time I watched that. It's it's a worthwhile watch. It's a good flick. I enjoyed it. Um, one of the reasons I watched it is because I've been watching this thing, Eli Roth's History of Horror. It's on AMC and it's the nerdiest thing possible, but at the same time, it's so fucking cool. Is it's just Eli Roth, who's the the writer director of Hostel and Cabin in, uh, Cabin Fever. Mm-hmm. And I think a couple other horror films, um, but he discusses like horror movies and like the history of horror movies and all of the different angles. Like this week was um, a couple weeks ago was haunted houses. This week was body horror. So it's just like 
all of the different things that you've done in all of like the horror movie classics and you know with the um, he talked with the uh, haunted houses he talked about like the Amityville horror movie that was from the 70s and how that affected in like the ripple effect that had on other horror movies and like haunted house related ones and stuff it, it's it's pretty fucking fascinating and he gets interviews with great guests actors writers directors it's it's awesome hmm. that sounds cool. pretty cool so i recommend that show highly um it's eli roth's history of horror it's on amc season two is currently airing season one i have no idea where you can find it so anyway um i watched another film from the year 2000 frequency oh, I don't know if either of you have ever seen that it the, with david the Qua- radio Dennis one? Quaid or- yes yeah yeah he talks it's to so his funny. dad right yeah, I've never seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Henry Cavill, the guy who played Jesus in the uh, the Mel Gibson movie. Um, in, in, Passion Henry, of the Christ. Isn't Henry Cavill Superman? No, it's not. Yeah, you're right. That is definitely Superman. Jim Caviezel? John Caviezel? That's, something yeah, like that, maybe? Caviezel sounds... Sounds right. The Caviezel man. Anyway, he plays um, yeah, Jim Dennis Caviezel. Quaid's kid. And... It's like 30 years after his dad died and they have like Aurora Borealis happening above their power lines and he's able to communicate with his father. I can talk to and my like, dad. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Can I tell you? They are some just absolute trash New York accents. Oh really? In this movie. It's been a oh, while since they're I've seen so it. Bad. Andre Brower from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. He plays the captain in Brooklyn Nine-Nine is in the movie. And everyone's doing a heavy New York accent because it's supposed to take place in, like, Queens. And he cannot pull it off. (laughs) He's close, but no cigar. Like, he sounds like he's got a speech impediment a couple of times. And I'm just like, oh, buddy. Because when he's in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, he doesn't try to do a fake New York accent. He does a very posh, like well-spoken right. accent or whatever but oh my god it <laughs> it's it's bad like i laughed at that but other than that it's a good like fantasy sci-fi kind of movie don't think about it too much when you're watching it don't do that terminator or back to the future time travel conversation don't do just that let it happen just just, do just it. let it happen and it's fine like it's pretty good I remember I enjoyed um, it whenever the heck I saw it. I saw it when I was a kid because it came out 20 years ago. But, like, Jeez. I just rewatched it and I was like, oh, wow, this is pretty good. Like, I like it a lot. And uh, the last movie I saw this week, which is kind of a twist Ooh. as far as, like, for what we're talking about, is a rom com. It's uh, Celeste and Jesse Forever, which is just a terrible name. So what was that? But Celeste and Jesse Celeste forever? and Jesse. Celeste is played by Rashida Jones All and right. Jesse is played by Andy Samberg. All right. That's and not bad. It's honestly kind of funny. Like I mean, those, yeah, those good. two were I could see it being funny. As All right, so the movie is that they were married for 6 years, they're now separated but they're also best friends. And then they start dating new people. That's essentially it. That's all you really need to know. But while they're still hanging out in the beginning of the movie, they do this amazing bit where he takes out his Blistex. Oh. And they're they're in her car. They're, like, driving home from um, dinner with friends. And then they both pretend to jerk the Blistex off as if it were this tiny little penis <laughs> and honestly i thought it was like genuinely hilarious like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great uh. yeah so it came out in 2012 and i'm a big rashida jones fan andy sandberg's always funny and uh yeah it wasn't bad nice. as far as rom-coms go it wasn't bad at all oh yeah um so I I don't remember how, but I got on YouTube. I was watching like Lord of the Ring clips. Okay. Um, Which is a weird thing to look for on YouTube. I don't remember how. Let me it watch happened. clips of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> but then, yeah, I mean, maybe if you were looking for like bonus features or something. I don't know. No, I just, forgot. 
but um, I was like, I wonder if it's on. Like, I wonder if someone has the whole movie, and they didn't. But uh-huh. there is a playlist of all the movies actually, and it's just little <laughs> clips that people have online, and then someone put them in order in a playlist. Okay. So it's like a condensed version. So it's like sixty. I watched like sixty-five clips in order. It was like a condensed Lord of the Rings. Which one? The first one, and then Is I also all- watched the second one. That same way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a boring scene. I could skip forward. Oh my god! So did you skip like half of the first movie? No, the first movie Hello. I watched a lot. <laughs> So I like the Shire. The Shire's cool. Yeah, the Shire is good. I, it's fun. I like the first one. I like the first I, one. I like the first one as well. I just like breaking people's balls. Oh, it's, like, the I, first... I used to do the same thing. I used to be like, oh, it's such a boring movie. Yeah. Oh, you're just well, you're watching people walk? That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but yeah. So did you, like, are you... Like, that's got to be such a weird way to watch it. Were there ads that you have to keep skipping the ads and stuff? No, I... Luckily, I don't think there were any ads. Okay. Somehow. How did you... How, how did you feel about it? Legolas in, uh... Um, in the... Uh, the... Oh, God. When they're in the, um... Fucking caves of Mordor. Is it caves of Mordor or something like that? What? When, they, the- when the troll attacks, how bad it looks. Oh, I've he looks se- like a cartoon. I've I've seen that scene, but it was not in the playlist. Um, so oh. <laughs> but I have okay. seen that battle. <laughs> how wait? How was that not in? Or maybe I skipped it. That's he knocks the bucket like, in the well, and then <laughs> I, I I'm a little like mind blown right now. You skipped that scene. I've seen it before. Huh. Okay. Well, I well, I must, all right, I saw it You've recently. You've seen the movie before, but it you was know that, yes. Right? I've seen it before. <laughs> I've seen it before, but I think I watched that particular scene also on YouTube, and it wasn't like the recently. best quality, so it kind of looked okay. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it took a, it took away from how cartoonish it looked because yeah. it just looked like shit. Yeah, it all looked like bumblish pixels. It's it, a uh, good yeah. point. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what my sister does. I think. I'm gonna watch all three. Re-watch Christmas. It. Not not Christmas. Christmas rings. Give me three three separate days. Well, no. Yeah. yeah, don't watch them all on Christmas. I, I have. I got. I get the fucking like the the extended shit. Nice. So like yeah, three hours. Like there's intermission. You have to switch Ooh. discs. Wow. Go get some popcorn. <clears throat> you know what's so funny? I um. When those movies were coming out were the early 2000s and I didn't have a widescreen TV so I would go out of my way to buy full screen versions of the DVDs. So now I've got you know the three movies but this awful shit full screen quality. <laughs> like, <laughs> I actually don't I don't even think I've watched the DVDs since I've gotten them so I don't Damn. even know what they no? are. <laughs> I bought them like 2 3 years ago I think. <laughs> and I'm like, cause well, if they're DVDs, they probably have the. Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, they're not 4K. Because oh, when I was in Maryland, like the, there was a place that had like cheap DVDs, and I saw all three of them. Yeah, like, I think it was whoop. like it was like ten bucks. If you open one. them and they're like porn discs. All right. <laughs> oh man, Lord of the Cock Rings. Yeah, just <laughs> just as long. The movies, not the cock rings. <laughs> yes. God, that'd be way too long for porn. Are you kidding me? I think like give me like thirty yeah, seconds. Jesus. A minute and a half tops. <laughs> Two minutes if I'm really treating myself. Yeah. Actually I made me I need some I need some story. I need to know what's going on. So yeah. maybe a little That's true. Why yeah. are these two people why are these two hobbits boning? Yeah. Why are they why, what is this? What what's happening? Yeah. I feel like it'd be a great time to point out that there is almost no females in this. <laughs> so, uh, Lord Liv of the Taylor. It'd be, a, it, it'd be a gay porn for the most part. Liv Taylor. Uh, she's the elf. Yes. She's an elf. Yeah, there's there's one female. No, yeah, there's other be, there's other elf ladies. It's the elf lady. Nah. There's the uh, the one lady that's not an elf that's flirting with man dude. 
Yeah, man dude. Man dude. Man, you mean Aragon? I don't know, the one guy that doesn't die. I, when I was watching it, <laughs> when I was rewatching it, when I was in Maryland, I kept, you, I kept saying the names wrong. Good. I kept calling him Agron. Agron. Because a- I was watching Spartacus, oh. and one of the guys is Agron. Oh. That's great. They're like, no, it's Aragorn. Well, how how mad did your sister get? Nah, nah, she didn't care. Did she get oh, real Agron? Also, also, I don't fucking care. That's like a perfect mad. troll. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Agron and yeah. Merder. <laughs> and then uh I kept saying like everybody else's names wrong. I don't remember what I was saying though. But Agron was definitely the worst one. Bill B. Bogons? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Frito. I think Le- Legolas, I was calling him Legoland. Oh, I definitely have heard you say Legoland. Before. Legoland. I've heard you say that before for sure. And was it? It'd be funny if you you still got Samwise Gangji correct. Oh, I, I, every time Samwise Gangji. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah. So, Al, I I love that you just watched the movie and you called Aragon. What did you call him? the the man who lives? Yeah, dude, <laughs> man. One of the uh, you know the, dude uh, man, the, dude the, man the, that lives. Know, the dude man. You know, the dude, man. I just watched <laughs> 75 clips of this whole one and a half movies, and I don't know the lead, one of the lead characters' names. Hey <laughs> so man. I'm going to call him dude, man. He's got an arrow. Uh, He's got a yeah, sword and shit. It's dude. He's, he's the king. Yeah. yeah. Hail to the king, baby. Yeah. I mean, eventually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so I, I heard whispers of a sponsor this week. Uh yes, let me. I'm gonna send a text. I don't know if Sitech is gonna send it. Oh no, I'm texting somebody else right now. Okay, I'll uh, send a text. Sitech is busy. All right, he's here. You don't What's need up? To... Okay. <laughs> What's up? How does this work? Just talk. I've never been on this before. Oh. This is my first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was a mistake. I can already tell. <laughs> my face. My face is so. My face. <laughs> my, face. <laughs> my face is here. Uh, no, I just want to hop on. Um, yeah, I got a scream. I got a. I don't know how loud I'm. Am I being too loud, Nikolai? Say yes. No, I don't think so. Uh, Thank you. Come here. Give for me the a... sake of comedy, always. Wait, always be loud. <laughs> yeah, no, that's one of the rules you're... of comedy. Yeah. There's you're... three rules in <laughs> comedy: be loud, don't write jokes. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I'm just hopping on to let people know that uh, I have a new podcast that just dropped on Apple and Spotify called chuckleheads um with an s we're not fucking millennials using z's dope silly uh dope r.i.p dope silly i had to delete it from this <laughs> i took that shit down uh but chuckleheads is just a podcast where we talk to comedians who like oh you know they like uh they're not big yet they're not bill burr or anything but they've been in like commercials or maybe they've been on some like bit parts on sitcoms and stuff about like their journey of like coming up in the comedy scene and like how they like figured out their voice and stuff like that. It's if you're into like comedy stuff, it's kind of a nerdy podcast. We talk about it like in terms of sports. So if you're a nerd about comedy and you want to like hear about people's comedic journeys, mainly through improv, but we have some standups and sketch actors coming on, um, you know, give it a, check it out on Spotify and Apple podcasts. I'll put yeah. a link in the description. Boo. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Nice. Check it out, everyone. I'm on who Instagram. Is, at Sabizlo. At your, <laughs> What'd you say? Who is your first guest? Our first guest is Patrick Keen, who uh, he actually is the editor, one of the editors for uh, Leftist uh, Satire Magazine. I say leftist, but they kind of just make they make fun of everyone, liberals and Republicans. Um, mm-hmm. But it's uh, it's basically called it's called Functionally Dead. Uh, and it's named after how Joe Biden walks through debates and uh-huh. how our country is existing right <laughs> now. So <laughs> okay. uh, if you want to check it out, uh, at Functionally Dead on Instagram, and they post a lot of their articles on there because it's like a graphic magazine a la, you know, the whatever magazine it was that Jackass was doing before they became Jackass. What's that skater magazine called? You know, you watch the documentaries. Um, skater. Fuck, dudes. I did just watch it the other a couple, that was a couple months ago. I don't remember. It's because all the weed you smoke. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> what do you mean? But yeah, it, he's he, and he's like a big deal in the uh, improv scene in New York City uh, when he's not writing for a comedy magazine. Very cool. It is cool, Nikolai. 
It is cool. <laughs> <laughs> So check it out, Chuckleheads. It's on Spotify and an iTunes, S. and uh, that's it. And completely unrelated, uh, I'm starting this hashtag boycott Chucklehead pod. <laughs> um, <laughs> it has nothing to do with with that. You're just you're just starting a hashtag. Not yeah, a, no, I don't think that's how hashtag. I don't think oh, you just announce you're starting oh, no. a hashtag. Oh, you just wait. Oh, you wait. Uh, I declare bankruptcy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Slice is gonna walk out of here and go. I hashtag chuckle. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that's it for me. I'll let you guys close up. See what you do. Say I love you. Good night, moon. All Aww. that good stuff. Uh, at Sir Bizzo. <laughs> do it. All right. <laughs> Nobody follow him. Do it, everyone. So that was at Sir Bislow promoting the Chuckleheads podcast, and uh, sounds kind of interesting. Yeah. I'm certainly not going to listen to it, but maybe you should. Oh, God, I would never. You could put it on during a shower. <laughs> yes. Put it on during a shower. Yes. Be naked while you get a, hear his get voice. A, uh, <laughs> get an education in um, modern, like, up-and-coming uh, stand-ups. Who knows? Somebody, somebody you say, is going to be a I guest on their them. show and break big. Yeah. yeah. So... Um, Something I brought for this week, just to uh, kind of lean into the Halloween theme or the horror movie theme that we've got going on, are 34 horror movie facts you probably didn't know from BuzzFeed. (laughs) And I'm going to read all 34 right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, Nikolai. (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. I did read all 34, but I'm just going to bring, I'm going to read three that I found interesting. Um, the first one is, uh, number one, actually, while on the set of The Exorcist, director William Friedkin, Friedkin, uh, apologies to his family for me saying that wrong, um, would have a prop man randomly fire shotgun blanks to surprise the actors. Oh my God. (laughs) Could you imagine that shit? I mean, you get some good scares. Jesus. Good shots. Right? (laughs) God damn. Thanks. You just you just have um, the the little girl walking like to the uh, the food cart, getting a bagel and the breakfast. And blam! Just, <laughs> oh god! Oh god! I hate movies. I hate them. Oh, I do say more. <laughs> and didn't she like break her neck or like severely injure her spine on that scene where she gets like thrown around on the bed or something like I that? I feel I like that know. was a thing. I don't know. Um, speaking of getting hurt while on set, James McAvoy broke his hand while filming Split. It happened after he hit a door he thought was fake, but it was actually solid metal. Oh. Right? I th- th- that was pretty interesting. That sounds awful. Oh. Yeah, right? You just... Because if you think the door is fake, yeah, you're you going, don't, yeah, you don't yeah, hold yeah. back at all. So he just wham, fucking unloaded. Ooh. And just... <laughs> Just shattered his hand. Oh, that's so oh broken. God. <laughs> Professor X, how did you not see that oh, coming? Oh, no. Yeah, right? You really should have known. Um, and the last uh, fact I brought for this week is the, the doll from The Conjuring and its spinoff, Annabelle, is based on a real-life doll that looks very different. It looks the like real a Annabelle. Raggedy Ann, right? I think so. Wow. Ding, ding, ding. It is a regular Raggedy Ann doll. Sight is the winner. No, I've just uh, I've seen that one before. Oh. Also, okay, I well, win. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. The uh, the magazine Andrew was talking about, the Jackhead people, was Big Brother magazine. Big Brother? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Big Brother magazine. Did yeah. you use the Googles for that one? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Uh, I... I yeah. Watched the documentary. I could not remember the name, and it was well, it was, it was a few mon- months ago. Yeah, yeah, it was eating me inside. He watched the uh, the circle. <laughs> oh, the circle! I hate when that shit happens to me. Uh, gentlemen, it's time for my favorite part of the podcast. It's uh, big city living, living it up in that spooky motherfucking city. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> <laughs> the the, the was... not committed ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! Oh, I don't know. Boo! 
<laughs> that was big city living, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Were you guys yawning? I was. <laughs> I was. I was. I no. <laughs> <laughs> Just a sleep. <laughs> and that was Big City Living, non-committal as hell, and pretty fucking spooky. Uh, I stepped on a dead mouse this morning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, that sucks. Yeah. Uh, I took a picture of it if you want, Nikolai. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I uh. Because in the morning it'll go great with my other dead animals. <laughs> <in my phone. laughs> when I go to work, it uh, I leave around like four forty, four forty-five, so it's uh-huh. it's dark. Yeah, and they turn off the lights outside for some reason at around that time. Yeah. So when I open the door, it's just dark. And I usually like take my flashlight out because I we've been because it surprised. happens. Yeah, yeah there's happens. Uh, <laughs> that cat just. Yeah, it's the cat. Shoot. Mice don't just die in front of our... If they yeah, did, no. we, we, we'd be a serious problem. <laughs> we could get an exorcism. You have an ancient burial ground for mice, oh, and they just keep dying there. That's all it is. <laughs> but, like, I walked out, and then, like, I started going downstairs. I took a step. And I stepped on something. I was like, oh, I, uh, uh. Uh, I know what that was. <laughs> and I got to, like, the little, like, the bottom of that set of stairs. And I was like, turn, my uh-huh. flash- turn on my flashlight. I looked, I was like, yep, mm-hmm, cool. <laughs> did, I, you, did, you f- did you feel like a crunch? No, no, I didn't feel, it, it, I didn't feel a crunch, but I, I, just, kn- okay. I knew. You knew what I, it I was. stepped on something, I'm like, that's, that's going to be a mouse. Yeah, eat your heart out, Stuart Little. Oh, oh, oh wow. He had his heart eaten out. She I like that you got a picture of Missy licking her chops. Yeah, and licking, then you said licking her picture. lips and then the dead mouth. Uh, just a dead mouth. She's like, that's for you. That's what I do. You got to eat it now. I want to watch you eat it. Uh, that was oh a bigger God. one, though, than usual. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, usually they're like little baby ones. Just stepping a game up. I would love to see uh, Missy take on like a full subway rat. I I'd feel like that. she'd win. She, she has. Not a full subway rat, oh, but, but like when they big were, ones like back when, in the day. Yeah, when, like when she used to leave them downstairs. Yeah, they were they <laughs> were big boys, good size. Wow, and um, it's gross. That's kind of cool that you've got like a wild animal is like this is you live in a wild animal's hunting grounds. Yeah, it's right. like nature is around us. Yeah. Uh, speaking yeah. of uh, nature, um, I'm just gonna do this tiny one. Uh, a delivery guy asked. Uh, <laughs> If uh, he was like, "What number building is this?" and I gave him our address, but ten below, and then I said, "I don't know though. I might be stupid." And then he <laughs> looked at our building and he was like, "Oh no, yeah, this is." And then he said the correct address, and then he was like, "Uh huh." <laughs> he's like, "Where's number and three? It, then he just basically I told this man. He, I, yeah, I don't know where I live. He was looking at. He was, he was yeah, looking for yeah, base, no, I, basically. I was, was like, it's it basically like the building next to us. And Al was like, "Oh, this, this, unless I'm stupid." <laughs> and, <laughs> and then and, it it, was and then it was the wrong address that he told the guy. Oh, that's <laughs> so awesome. Just, were you were you, were you with him, Sage? No, no, he told me about it. And yeah. I was dying. Like, it was funny. I was already <laughs> inside the gate, so it's not even the first time. You're like, like, like does it happen? He's, he's well, the first time I ordered uh, a package, I gave it the wrong address and it just got delivered you, to wait, some house. You, you did like 10, 10 above, right? Which doesn't we're exist. the last building, so there's no more after <laughs> us. They just threw it at the end of the block. And they're like, "Well, someone will get it." <laughs> oh, that's awesome! I, I, you know what? I gotta be honest; it does not surprise me. That you don't know your own address. Yeah, man. But at the same time, it does still surprise me a little <laughs> bit that you have no idea where you live. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I can walk here. Yeah. I can yeah. show you it, but I cannot mail anything yeah. to myself. Yeah. Sorry. I got to double check. <laughs> Always double check. Oof. I've only been here a couple of years. What do you expect? I know. It's crazy. Especially when like a doctor no, calls. I'm like, let me just check real quick. just to make sure oh my god now the real scary part is the delivery man was wielding a gun yeah yeah wait well i mean i guess now you kind of have to yeah just to be up with the times 
have one of your have one of your COVID nineteen guns. Yeah. I guess. I don't yeah, know. it uh, it just shoots Lysol down people's throats. Ooh, very clean. Oh, okay. I still yeah. don't like but, it though. Yeah, I wouldn't either. No. I mean, yeah. it's better. It's not good to ingest Lysol. No, but still. It's better. Yeah. Well, not a lot of it. Yeah. You yeah. do like one, um, like a spritz. Yeah, make your quick, mouth smell good. Like, like a quick look, like uh, Banaka, right? Banaka, that's that shit? Yeah, yeah Banaka, yep, yeah. yep, yep. Yeah, you can Lysol. You, you can do that. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, the unfortunate part is none of the members of this podcast are able to use the Lysol guns. No. No. That's true. Because we have a steadfast rule. If I need a gun of any kind, I don't want to be there. Unless it's a water gun. Have a happy Halloween, everybody. Ooh. Happy Halloween. Ooh, spooky. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Boo, I guess. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Boo, you.